think if I have it set up right, let's see. Yeah, exclamation point hacks will give you the list of all the hacks that I've played and what I've completed and whatnot. I'm trying to keep that updated, so it should be up to date. Oops. The first quickie world I got stuck on, uh, Sourfing Castle or whatever the fuck it's called. Kind of took a break on it because I was getting frustrated with it and did Akagari. And although I felt Akagari was fairly hard, I, uh, I didn't really get that frustrated with it. I managed to complete it last Sunday. But I did that all off stream and didn't record anything for Akagari. Okay, that's good to know. That like that level just sucks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I was having a lot of trouble with uh, doing the uh, that green shell jump quick enough to get to the saw to get to the other saw. I was just getting really frustrated. Especially since the, the shell jump before it, throwing it while spinning, sometimes it, I don't know. I, I kept, when it would go left, I would accidentally kill myself with it, or destroy the shell, or... I, mean, I was just getting, like, really pissed off with it, and I was like, I'm just gonna let it sit. If I'm not mistaken, isn't there like a uh, a patch so that uh, the ROM hack maker can control which way you throw it? If I'm not mistaken, I thought I read something about that. Because it just because of the fact it's RNG when it goes left, it really kind of screws you or make well I should say it makes it more difficult. It's still doable. Whoops. But that added difficulty leads to a lot of frustration. At least it was for me, anyway. Gotcha. 